Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do an Azazel run today. We haven't done one of those in a while. Also, I haven't done, an, uh, done a challenge in a while. Ooh, that's actually a great first item. Damage and health. Very nice. I uh, also haven't done any challenge runs in a while. We should probably start doing those uh, as well in the near future. That was terrible damage. But Azazel, if you have forgotten, you can fly and uh, you start with a brimstone beam, which is amazing. The downside is your brimstone beam has terribly short range and you don't start with any red hearts, which is why getting stigmata right off the bat is great. Lard, that would be more HP but it would be a significant speed downgrade. Um, We're doing it. Two HP, and our speed is still fine. It's not great, but it's still fine. Azazel is a little faster than other characters to start with as well, which is nice, because you basically start uh, with like a short range brimstone and then Lord of the Pit. Uh, even though they don't actually appear in your item, like, list or whatever. Here, I'm going to try and take out the little one first. Aw, misjudge my shards there. There we go. Beautiful. And then we get safety pin, which is a range upgrade, which as Azazel is really important. Range on Azazel is, like, really good. Um, much better than on other characters. But it's not damage. However, you already start with great damage to begin with. Also, Tinted Rock right there, which is nice. Uh, one bomb for two bombs and a key. It's okay. What is this? Knockout drops. They pack a punch. I don't know if this works with Brimstone. As a oh, it sounds like it does. Yeah, it does. It definitely does some sort of synergy. I don't know if I like it. I will say that the non-brimstone animation for this item is, like, way cooler. <laughs> like, you fire fists. <laughs> it's, it's super, like, just out there. I love it. It's one of those, like, weird, wacky, bizarre ones where you're just like... Okay, it's cool. Uh, we got tons of HP. Um, we made it. Do we want to go deals with the devil here? Perhaps. Or do we want to go deals with the angel? I think there's a, I think there's a, 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 a chance for both. Um, let me just check. Let's get rid of this guy first. There we go. And also, eh, secret room could be a few different places. I'm not going to worry that much about it. Let's see. Look at a post-it note. We're going cathedral. So, uh, although let's say maybe our goal is hush, if we can. We got to get uh, 30 minutes. So we have to, we, have, we basically have to beat mom's heart within 30 minutes, which is pretty doable. Um, okay, full card is better. Pop in here. Whew, okay, well, we just, that, that works. So now we have full brimstone. Uh, <laughs> So we're good. So much for our range problems. We got an XL floor. We might just do boss rush anyway, because you can get another item in there. Actually, you get two items if you do boss rush. And we got a full card here. So check this out. See what we got. That was terrible damage. Shouldn't have taken that, but it's fine. There we go. And a lover's card. Okay, stick with the fool. Actually, yeah, you know what? We'll do that trick. We'll take the fool card with us. We'll make it to boss rush, and then we'll just teleport out using the fool card. Because we've already cleared boss rush on Azazel, so we don't need to do it again. And then that just lets us get a free item, which is pretty sweet. That ability to fly coming in handy there. I mean, we still need some things on this run, but overall, we're in pretty good shape. We got 
a good amount of HP. We've got Brimstone, which is one of the best items in the whole game. Like, all we really need is maybe a little bit more Rate of Fire. Uh, yes, I will take the left hand and we will chase the Guppy Dream. Because Guppy Brimstone is, like, broken. And I mean that in the best possible way. There we go. Let's go fight the boss right away, too. Oh, that's right. It's a XL floor. So we've got two bosses. And two item rooms on this floor. Ah, uh, that was my fault. Missed. Don't get hit by that. There we go. You're dead. Okay, blood clot. Pretty whatever. And maybe one more. There we go. We got a deal. Kind of surprising, honestly, but I'll take it. Uh, and I will take this as well. Gives us speed, gives us damage. Both of which are pretty good. Uh, don't need the Hangman card. We can already fly. And I'm going to hold off on picking up the Eternal Heart for now. Because we need to go back and find our item rooms. But, you know, time-wise, we're doing pretty okay. We're on pace for Boss Rush and Hush. Uh, check the pills. We got an Amnesia pill. That's annoying. And a Balls of Steel pill, which is very good. We're looking for two item rooms. Grab the consumables and the shop. We might as well check the shop, too. Retrovision. Speed upgrade. All right. Those are always useful. I have kind of a general idea of where we're supposed to be going. But losing the map on an XL floor like this is never, never really what you're hoping for. What do we got here? Monstro's Lung. Um, and is that, that's a penny, right? Yeah. Do we take Monstro's Lung? I think we pass on Monstro's Lung. It's a great item, but with Brimstone, it lowers your rate of fire even more. And you shoot more beams, but they go in random directions. I honestly think we're better off having the faster rate of fire. And uh, only the one beam. I love Monstro's Lung. I think it's an amazing item. It's just, with Brimstone, eh. I think we're better off just leaving it behind. Because the biggest, the only downside to Brimstone, if you can even call it that, Toxic Shock is great. It's going to deal double our damage to all enemies at the start of every floor. Or at the start of every room, I should say. Which is great. Um, but the, the, the only downside to Brimstone, and it's not really a downside, is just that you it, it takes a while to charge up your shots. So lowering that charge time even more just doesn't seem like a great idea. I am kind of looking here for a shop. Yeah, see? Like, Toxic Shock at work. Deals 18 damage to all enemies at the start of every room. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, sure. We'll take Broken Watch. And then we're out. How are we doing on time? Eight minutes? So we've essentially cleared four floors, because this, this counts as two floors. We've essentially cleared four floors in probably about eight and a half minutes by the time we leave, would be my guess. Yep. Okay, we'll take the Eternal Heart. That'll give us one HP at the start of the next floor. So it's going to hurt our, uh, our damage and our speed a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to do a full mob trap room for one single red chest. Especially since we have not actually gotten a guppy item. Like, maybe if, if we had a guppy item or two already, then, like, maybe, but... 
there's no guarantee that we're going to be getting Guppy on this run. What do we got here? Glowing Hourglass. Uh, it's an item. It's a spacebar item. It allows us to basically redo a room if we have a room that goes really badly. So it's okay. I don't think it's top tier, but it definitely has its uses. What do we got in here? Okay. Now this, on the other hand, mystery gift, much better. Uses, you, you use it and it gives you an item from whatever item pool you use it in. So if you use it in like a deal with the devil room, it'll give you a deal with the devil item. Although it seems like whenever I use it in a deal with the devil room, it almost always pays out with lump of coal. On the other hand, lump of coal with brimstone is really good. So I'm completely okay with that. And this guy, with him being unable to hurt me with his spikes, is just getting destroyed. Which is great, because he's a real annoying boss. Uh, take the HP, pop into here, what do we got? Nothing. Necronomicon. Meh. It's a deal with the devil item. <laughs> Not a great one, but it's fine. Alright, let's keep going. So... How are we doing for time? 10 minutes? Dude, we should easily make boss rush. Which means we should easily be able to get extra items, and we should be able to easily make hush as well. Okay. Nothing there. I'm, I'm taking the damage because we're using our fool card to cheese boss rush and get free items that don't actually involve us fighting the entire boss. Basically what you do is you go in, you take an item, which triggers the start of boss rush. And then once you've taken it, you just pop the fool card and teleport out. And you essentially just get a free item. And because boss rush always gives you a choice of items, it's usually pretty good. Okay, um, deck of cards is great. I will take it. Also, I will donate my remaining money to the donation machine. Because this is the last floor with a shop. Although we, we're going to hush, come to think of it. Should have thought about that. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I have no money. I can't. <laughs> that's right. I forgot. Okay, that's fine. Can't get into the arcade because there's no money to be had. Let's blow you up. I was really hoping you'd drop a penny, but... At least we get an increased deal chance. Gotta say, Toxic Shock is doing great things for us. Okay, so we got one cent. So I'm actually going to go back. We've got the time. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit up the arcade. I did not mean to spend a key there. Uh, I'm going to hit up the arcade, and we're probably just going to blow up whatever's in here. Yeah, blow you up, blow you up, blow you up. Got our bombs back, got our money back. Now we're doing okay. And we'll save our money this time for Hush, because I forgot we're trying to go to Hush, and there's a shop when you go to Hush. So, want to make sure we have some money to buy something in there if there's a good item. I mean, the other benefit, I should add, of uh, the left hand of always getting red chests is just that even if you're even if you don't get guppy, you're probably going to end up with a pretty significant. All right, the sun card we will take with us later. Mister Mega is fine. Um, Joker card's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna take the Joker card with us because you can use that to get out of boss rush as well. Actually, no, we're going to take the Fool card, because we'll be coming back to this room anyway. Like, basically, the plan is we fight you. And then if we need to, we, can, we will probably end up jokering, uh, using the Joker card in this floor. Not guaranteed, it all depends. But there's a pretty good chance of that happening. 
Because we're only a 40% chance of a deal, it says on the little UI thing. So we're certainly in... Oh, ran into the foot. So we're expecting to not get a deal here. We did get a deal anyway. Okay, we'll take the negative. Pop into the deal. It's Krampus. Uh, please give me Lump of Coal. That's what we're hoping for. No, nope, Krampus is head. Okay, well, that's fine. Take the deck of cards. Pop into Boss Rush. What do we got? Two items that are both pretty terrible. Uh, but free is free. Use the Evil Eye. Or take Evil Eye. Pop the Fool card. And we got the uh, deal on this floor. So we want to take the Joker card with us. If we didn't, we would use the Joker card here and take the Sun card with us. Down to the next floor we go. Because we want to make sure that we can basically use the Joker card to get a deal that we wouldn't otherwise get. Okay, a couple of pills. Speed down and an amnesia pill. Not particularly interested in either. Okay, more pills. That was just terrible. Okay. Tears in a range upgrade. And then a stars card. Could also use the Joker, the, the Joker card right here to uh, skip the rest of this fight, but it's fine. We'll want to use it properly. Also, I just realized our HP is starting to get a bit low. We're kind of getting to the point where maybe we won't want to fight Hush, but we'll see. We might be okay anyway. Do, 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 do. Just keep a distance. That's why Br part of the reason Brimstone is so good is you can just keep your distance and not have to worry about like any of it. Okay, careful. There we go. Excuse me. Gonna say, did you not take damage? So far, so good. Okay, we got a boss fight here. Check, what do we got? Daddy Long Legs? Broken stopwatch is helping out a little bit. There we go. Okay. We got a deal again. And headless baby, which is... Probably not worth... You know what? We'll try it. This is an item that previously I would not consider to be good, but who knows? Maybe it's actually better in Repentance. We'll give it a try. Okay, nothing there. I do want to check one other room. And that's just down here. Okay. So just... Yeah, I think we're just out. Let's just go. There we go. I'm going to need these red chests to start paying out with some spirit hearts and stuff, though. HP is a little scarier than I would like. Because one thing, there are four golden chests when you get to Hush, and I don't particularly want to take the left hand to four golden chests. I would much prefer to open four golden chests and potentially get damage, tears, upgrades, etc. You know, it'd be one thing if we were close to Guppy, but we have not gotten a single Guppy item. So, probably not worth our time. Um, check here for a secret room, just in case. Nope. Okay. 
that's fine. I'm not gonna go into the cursed room. Our HP is a little too low to justify it, I think. Especially if we're about to be fighting Hush in a few minutes here. Okay, big old troll bomb. Fool card. Temperance card. Puberty pill. All stuff that's not super great. Tears upgrade's lovely, though. Do -do 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 -do. And we still have our Joker card, so we can use it at the end of this floor if we don't get it. I mean, we've had a couple of floors now in a, in a row where it's like, eh, probably don't need. Where we, where we should not have gotten a deal according to the statistics, like according to the odds. But we got one anyway, so I'm not expecting to get a deal on this floor too. Anything can happen. It's possible. In which case, we can use our uh, Joker card on uh, Hush's floor or on the Cathedral, which would be nice. But it's fairly unlikely to happen. Oh. The fact that that one hit me is a little annoying. And you know what? Honestly, I'm fighting. I don't know that we can do Hush now that I'm looking at this. Like, our HP is too low, and the run is strong, but not that strong. Like, we've got Brimstone, which is great, but we do not have great damage. Um, and I don't think I'm interested in either of these either. Do we do, we do Hush? I don't think so. I think we... Yeah, okay. Fine. You've convinced me. We'll go to Hush. <laughs> the Two of Diamonds convinced me. Doubles our money. Let's just buy a couple of shop items. Okay. So we get Mom's Pearls, which gives us a Spirit Heart back. Uh, we got a Tinted Rock here. Thank goodness. I did not give Spirit Hearts. I guess you take Backstabber, but those are both terrible. You got Mongo Baby and Leech, both of which are, again, pretty bad. What do we got in here? Okay, uh, so this is great. This is good. We'll take Judgment, throw you down here, and I'm going to give you some money and hope that you give me HP. There we go. So now we actually have a decent amount of HP. For the moment, anyway. Uh, we'll buy this, and then I'll donate my last three cents to this. You... Okay, devil card's good. Pop the Joker. Joker. Um... I don't think we're interested in any of that, either. We'll just take the devil card. And then here, I guess you take... I guess Mongo Baby. It's okay. Um, and then we go fight Hush, I guess. Also, oh no, there's not a thing there anymore. Uh, let's blow this guy up too. Can potentially donate a little bit more. Not as much as I was hoping, but it's something. Alright, so we pop up in here. We pop the Devil card, which gives us extra damage on this fight, which is going to be super important. And then we just try and destroy Hush with Samson. And then I think we'll have Boss Rush and Hush done. Right? Because we've done. Yeah, we've done Boss Rush on Samson. So it's basically all about this. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. Star's card here from our. Uh, our spacebar item isn't really helpful. Now, we did get 4.5 volt, which means that we're going to be able to continuously generate cards throughout this fight, because we get charged now. Rather than from clearing rooms, we get charged from dealing damage. And Hush, if you haven't noticed, he's got a lot of HP. So we're going to get some more cards as we move along here, which is great.
Emperor card. Uh, actually, that's awesome. We'll be able to use that on the next floor to skip directly to the boss. We did get hit there once. But what we're really looking for is just more cards that either give us a damage upgrade or give us HP or something along those lines. Chariot card is also like arguably useful if we're in like a really bad situation where we're sure we're gonna get hit. Could pop the chariot card and potentially avoid that damage because it gives you invincibility for a short while. But you can't shoot. Oh man. You can't shoot when you're using the chariot card, so it's kinda like eh. Judgment, okay. Oh, that was real bad. Dude, we're... What is going on here? Give me the chariot card. Like, hush is not this hard. Well, I'm just taking a bunch of damage that I should not be taking. Like, why am I... Also, this is different. They've changed... I don't know if they changed the actual attack patterns on these, or if they just changed the animations. We're dead. Wow. Alright, I guess I shouldn't have gone to Hush. Oh well. Guys, that is going to do for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.